Hi, I'm Liz McDonald, teaching from my studio Brazilian Yoga and Pilates here in Los Angeles. I'm here to show you today a few techniques for reducing stress and creating more calm in your life. So what we're going to do are breathing exercises. We're going to do unanostral breathing and then we're also going to do extended exhalation breathing. So for the unanostral breathing, you definitely want to get started by cleaning your pipes a little bit. So you want to have a uh, Kleenex or something handy so you can clear out the pipes and then get ready for uh, breathing through one nostril at a time. Now the way we do that is to fold these three fingers and to have the thumb and pinky showing. If that's a little awkward for you, I say break the rules and just use these two fingers. But the yogis do it this way. So we're going to do it this way today. And what's going to happen is essentially we're going to be creating the shape of a horseshoe that goes back and forth through our nostrils as we breathe. So we're going to breathe in through the left. Then we're going to plug up the left and then we're going to exhale through the right. Then we're going to inhale again through the right, plug up the right and exhale through the left. And I'll show you what that looks like now. Now ideally, that was just two cycles, but ideally you want to do at least 10 cycles of that back and forth. And the idea is that it works both the right and left hemispheres and right and left sides of the bodies and kind of brings those two things back into harmony. But at the very least, you're going to start to feel that it's so easy now to breathe through two nostrils after you've tried breathing through only one. So, if you have problems with congestion and stuff like that, as do I, since I have asthma and allergies and all that good stuff, what you might do is take a light jog. Just jog in place on your mat for a little bit before you start. Then clean the pipes and then get to the unanostral breathing. It really is worth it. It creates a sense of calm and peace and pretty soon all you're thinking about is the feeling of the air going in and out of the nose. Now that's something you can do at home on your mat but I have another one that I like to do in traffic. <laughs> Living in LA, sometimes you find that the time you most need to calm down is when you're sitting there in traffic. So this one is one that you can do with your hands on the wheel and even listening to music. Ideally, if you're listening to something that has four beats, you can breathe in for four counts and then breathe out for eight. The idea is to have an exhalation that's actually much longer than the inhalation. Whenever we do this, we increase the amount of carbon dioxide that's in the bloodstream and that in turn relaxes all of the smooth muscle or the organs in the body. So maybe you want, don't want to do it too much because pretty soon they may have a label on oxygen saying, do not breathe while driving. <laughs> This is not true, but one of the best ways for you to release stress is just to simply tune into your breath once again. So many things that we do throughout the day, we get really focused on what we're doing and we notice, wow, it's like I haven't breathed for 10 minutes. Your body is telling you something. It needs more oxygen. So again, those are two breathing exercises that we did to reduce stress and create more calm in your life. The first one was unanostral breathing, going back and forth with that horseshoe shape from one nostril to the next. And then the second was extended exhalation breathing, which is just extending the length of your exhale so that it's longer than the length of your inhale. I'm Liz McDonald, teaching from my studio Brazilian Yoga and Pilates. Thank you so much for watching.